Hello everybody. It is a rainy day today. Been making a mess building the flight deck extension so I could do what you see right here. I think it's exactly where it needs to be. I got that big panel done or started. I extended the floor out and put those tracks down, well, pieces of wood that resemble the, the tracks so I could get the exact distance from the back of the center console to where the track will be. That allows me to get in the seat, sit down, stand up, move around, and see if it's even reasonable for that to be accurate. And I think it's perfect. Let's go over here. So now that guy's in the way, well not in the way, but installed, let's keep in mind that it's gonna have a fairing all around the back, rounded, that's gonna stick out, I'd say about four inches, four or five inches. That's why I've left that beam sticking out four, I think five inches. So right now we're in the radio compartment and we need to step up into the flight deck and in front of us, there's some stairs. And we're looking up. And then we're going to go up in here. And we're going to step on the stair. And then step up onto the flight deck. So this is, it's exactly, uh, I think, 21 and 3 quarter inches from the center of that to the back end of the flight or the console. So that is precisely and exactly where that needs to be. Now I can, I can get in this thing rather comfortably. I'm kind of a bigger guy than I'd say the average 50s Air Force dude, but I can sit in this thing, make it perfectly comfortable. And, uh, with my legs out to about where the wall is. I could sit like this for five, eight hours. I mean, it's it's nice. Got plenty of access to my O2, my comm panel. I can read all my gauges. Uh, I can comfortably reach up there. I mean, I can almost flick the gauge or hit a push to test without even leaning forward. Plenty of room for the other guys sitting here. This bulkhead and every the, the, the panel on the real aircraft from here to this frame or lateral frame is 21 inches. That's true. Um, from here to the console is 38 inches. So that's true. I was a little confused with this. I, I It's 28 and a half inches tall. I made mine 28. Last night I dropped it down to uh, a 26. But now that I've got it in here, it's it's off like this frame, according to pictures, which, you know, the camera perspective you have to deal with is more in this area right there. But I'm not going to sacrifice this, which it, 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 it still might move. I still had to finish the, the canopy, as you all know. It could be there. But I'm not going to sacrifice that little bit of inaccuracy for having the uh, the flight engineer station that you can't access. But this is great. I could sit here and I could put my book here and I could just sit here and with a night light on when this thing is done and be in hog heaven. I'm not much of a, a flying guy. I love to see airplanes fly, but I'm more of a, a researcher or a historian. I can... It doesn't have to do anything. I can sit here and, and use my imagination and <clears throat> read the uh, the flight handbooks and just look at everything. And I can sit here for hours and just do what they did and get my checklist out. And that does it for me. And I can do that all over this thing. But as I've stated in previous videos, that there is a fur piece of work. There are so many push the test lamps on that thing and gauges and well it's push the test and toggle switches is what they are and uh, i think next i'm going to make this well next thing i've got this beam made i'm going to install it it runs under this three inch gauge 
So it's about right there. I'll have to research and see what's there to see what type of, like if there's circuit breakers, they can't be there because it would hit the beam. So I just know that that beam is gonna have provisions, a shelf of some sort for these uh, shock mounts. Uh, once again, this is exactly, I spent a, uh, after I got the this established, the height and got it level, I then uh, went to the flight, the, the, um, the main flight engineer's instrument panel and uh, got it perfectly level and it's these are level so this is this is where it's going to be and i'm i'm absolutely tickled pink with what i've got right here this is great this is this is just mm, to be able to sit here like this because i can you know imagine looking at the engines and the, the tail it's great but there we are we're gonna start working on getting the table built getting the legs in and uh, there's not going to be, once I get all these holes drilled and everything built, there's not going to be a whole much I can do other than make, you know, these resin copies. Cause I say it over and over again. You can, if you can find these gauges, one at a piece, if I'm talking, if you could find one a week, I mean, take a look at that. And these are about, you know, 30 bucks a pop right here. And these big things and all these uh, rheostats and potentiometers, I want those to be authentic. Those things are expensive. Hell, there's a uh, an eight-hour clock that goes in there. Those things are hundreds of dollars. And there's an altimeter up there. That's going to be 100 bucks. Uh, probably a climb gauge and stuff over there, too. And then these, uh, these big gauges that are exclusive to the H model. I've got two of them. But, you know... If I can get them for 50 bucks a piece, they're still going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the stupid things. And I don't want to make too much. I want it to be as authentic as possible. It's just, it's maddening. It's, it's utter madness just how much stuff there is. I'm really looking forward to building the, uh, the quadrant cover. It's going to be great. I'm going to build those things as accurately as I can. I mean, I'm not going to spend, once again, months or a year doing it, but they're going to be nice. I wish I could link them up under here with the pulleys to those guys, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. I like it. I am. I am just, this is great. So, uh. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thanks for all your comments. I'll see y'all next time.